Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We're going to continue our series about amazing spotting positions, possibly broken spotting positions. We're going to look at Erlenberg now. And this is one of the maps that I have to say, uh, as I looked at statistics and did research, I realized that it's completely unbalanced. Most of the best spotting uh, assistance damage results on this map are when you are on the north spawn. I'm going to explain why in a minute. We're going to watch this uh, player, uh, Kingers from the Faker Clan. Shout out to you. Who spawns? Now look at the spawns. One spawns on this side of the river. The south spawn is on the other side of the river. From this spawn, you can just go straight forward and get to a nice bush that Wargaming has provided. Right here. Very aggressive bush. Halfway up the map. And you're probably going to detect people that have to cross the river and come across the opening there uh, that are going to be slower because they have to cross the river. Is he going to spot anyone? This is a good initial spotting position. He's spotted the STB. He spotted the F, the, the Death Star. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a lot of teammates that are ready to shoot the people he spotted. So, you know, might as well take the shot yourself. <laughs> no one's going to shoot. Even your platoon mate isn't ready to shoot. But a good initial spotting position, I guess. He's going to take another shot. Oh, like I got into the low ground. If you're a player of a medium heavy or tank and you're going to that side, look at the map. Don't cut through the... I'm pointing at the map now. Don't cut through the opening here. You have to go the long way or you're going to get detected. Okay. He's uh, said so that's enough for this side. It's very difficult to push further south on that side. He could try and make a move to H1 which would be very aggressive. It could work, it maybe doesn't work. And now he's gonna switch sides. And he's gonna go to this side of the map where there's really, he's noticing that he's got a lot of TDs and campers. There's a heavy tank camped at A0. They're blind, so he's gonna provide eyes for them. He, this guy looks at the map and he sees where can I get the best value for spotting. And on th in this particular game, the 890 line is probably, the, there he goes, he spotted someone. A T100 LT. His counterpart that's moved into one of the uh, bushes you can use if you spawn on the other side. But you're easily countered. Okay, did you notice that? Let, let's just pause it right here. The, the T100 LT, the enemy got, light tank, went to this bush. You, know, you might think that's a really good initial spotting position. And it is, but he sat there. He didn't detect any of these guys back there because they're in bushes. And it amounted to not much. He was countered by this guy. Once you're spotted in that bush, kaboom! You're, you're smacked. So now he's looking there. He's going to keep poking this ridge line and try and light people. Now look at the map. Let's talk about the map uh, generally speaking now. The center of it along the river is just two corridors for uh, heavy tanks and heavily armored TDs to fight. Uh, Wargaming's made these row of buildings that make it very difficult for a light tank. Even if you poke here and you might spot some people in the gaps. Sure, you, you might spot them, but you're not going to get that much spotting assist. Most of the damage in those two little corridors in the five, six, seven line around the city is just heavy tanks fighting head on to each other. They're spotting. There you go. There's kaboom. Just like I said, that T100 LT, the enemy didn't learn very dangerous spotting positions from uh, when you spawn on the south side. This guy's going to keep poking now. Look at this. Ooh, yeah, yeah, you're spotted. So anyways, that's the center of the map. Center of the map is head-on fighting. You're not going to have much of, a, of an impact in a light tank. In a light tank, you either the 123 line or the 890 line. Now the 123 line is interesting, but there's this big stupid uh, uh, um, castle or whatever it is at G2. Do you see that? I'm pointing at the minimap here. This big structure there. It gets in the way of long distance shooting. So most of the good spotting games you see on this map are or occur in the 890 line. Now, exactly what this guy's doing. He's poking the ridge line here. He's spotting some enemies that are trying to move up. He's Oh, he's got to be careful because he's spot And he snapped them as he reversed. The Death Star missed and he snapped them as he reversed. Wargaming said, oh, da, da, da. It's a Russian light tank. Boop, we guide shell. Stalin guide shell. And now this guy's spotted. Take a shot on him. And uh, he's just making a mockery of the enemies. 
So initial spawning, he moved straight forward because he spawned on uh, on that the other side of the river, and it was easy for him to get initial spots. Didn't get a lot of spotting assist. Maybe if there was artillery in the game, he might have got some spotting assist. Boom! Another 1,281. The Death Star is dead. Ding dong! The Death Star is dead. But then he had the brains to think, okay, I've moved up, I've done a little bit of spotting, no one's shooting. My, my teammates really don't have good line of, uh, of sight at the people I'm spotting. And he switched it, he came to this side of the map. And on this side of the map, you usually have TDs and, and snipers at uh, A, 8, 9 and 0. You, Wargamers put a line of bushes in there. There's usually enemies that move up this flank. And you've got a beautiful uh, spotting position that you could poke the ridge line right around where the T-57 Heavy is now. So why not? Uh, and I've noticed, uh, I look at the statistics um, of all the games played on the different maps. Is he going to spot someone else here? Let's see, let's see. Is there, is there another enemy that's dumb enough to be here? Very dangerous position right here for the enemy team. Because a light tank can so easily spot you and there's so many sn snipers that can shoot you. So I've looked at the statistics and 9 out of 10 of the best spotting results are tanks from the north spot, from his spot. And most of them are spotting uh, just fortuitously in the 890 line. But now, now this guy actually does something very clever here, watch this. He noticed that he's winning and he notices that his heavy tanks are moving down the, uh, the building line there. So he's going to do something smart here. He, he sees the last known position of an FV4005 on the map. Do you see that, guys? He's, he's just trying. He sees also three last known positions of enemies here. Look, I'm going to show you on the map at, at H0. And he's trying to s decide, where can I spot? Where can I spot? And he's just patiently sitting here. Patiently sitting here. Now, watch, watch what he does. I, I don't know if this is an accident or if it uh, just works. He pulls up here and he's, he spots the FV. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was an accident. He's going, oh no, that guy's got a big gun. But he ends up with another close to a thousand spotting assists. And he's running for his life. Why don't you take him out yourself? Snap him, snap him, snap him. <laughs> so that was a little lucky. <laughs> hey, a little luck uh, doesn't hurt, right? And I'm going to show you um, a game from the other uh, spawn and how much more difficult it is to spot from the other spawn if you spawn from the south because look at the map where do you go from the south if you go in the one two three line you get to that castle and then you're exposed if you come up the eight nine zero line on this line you are countered very easily by what this guy just did so it, it's just much harder from the south spawn so think about that when you're playing your light tank and you want to have your monster spotting game. If you spot, if you spawn on the north spawn, uh, you, you got a lot of options. All right, now this guy is not done. It's still a close game. He's done 7,810 uh, spotting assist, but this guy has map awareness, okay? He, he he's moves around, like he's jumping around like a spider monkey because he just he looks at the map and he knows uh, where to go and this is one of the most incredible uh, um, impressive results I've seen for spotting it he's looked at the map and he says well there's a lot of enemies on the other side I, I, I'm exposed but there's only two last known positions here an STB one and a 121 B I got my platoon mate there in the T-124 is asking, okay, now I want to just come around here and shoot this guy. And I'll maybe shoot that guy because he's lower HP. The VZ put pump 522 into him. His teammate is coming. He's going to come around again. He didn't know the VZ was there. He thought last known position STB1 and 121B. <laughs> but he's going to help his uh, platoon mate. And his platoon mate is now facing off versus the VZ. So why not get him into a crossfire? Come on, come on. Oh, he's the VZ's heading towards him. He's, the VZ's heading towards him. The VZ's heading towards him. And uh, hi, VZ. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I'm faster than you. Ha uh ha. -huh. So some good driving here. Here he goes. He's going to go help his platoon mate, who has a lot of HP. 
Come on, do it, buddy. Do it. I know you can do it. Do it, do it, do it. Now, who? where's the VZ facing? The VZ is just saying, oh, where's that light tank? There he is. And now he, oh, he's uh, accidentally spotted this guy. Uh, just take, take a shot, take a shot. Boom! Russia! All shots miss Russian tanks. All shots from Russian tanks hit enemies. That is how you spot. Boom! Snap! Well, you forgot to snap. You would have hit. This guy's all over the map, guys. All over the map. He gets another 811 spotting assist on the VK. And he's constantly putting himself in a position where he can um, detect enemies and have his teammate shoot. Now, he sees the three last known positions. Oh, there he is. Spotted this guy. He's just moving around, trying to spot. He sees the last known positions. Shoot him. Snap! Russia! And should he take a, a, a shot on this VK? Oh, well, well, might as well snap him. Come on, snap him, snap him, snap Oh. <laughs> Why you not snap? You gotta, you gotta say this was an amazing game played by this guy, right? 9,859 spotting assist. And he's in the cap. Might as well go, go towards her. Give your life. Give your life for a team. Just move forward. This is another little good spotting bush. I don't know when you use it. Sometimes you use this bush right here. When you spawn from the south and you've lost this flank and the enemies are coming. And you sit here and hopefully your teammates shoot. But you can get overrun here. There's so many bushes on this map, right? But it's, uh, uh, think about what I said. It's very unbalanced. Uh, from the south spawn, it's, there's a lot less really good positions. Unless the enemies are Muppets, right? If the enemies deploy uh, and at least move halfway down, there's not a lot of good positions. If they camp at base, there's some good positions even uh, as far as uh, uh, E3 and E4, but you, the enemies have to be Muppets. Let's see, where's the last guy? Let's get the last guy and then I'm going to show you a game from the south spawn. There he is. Snap him, snap him, snap him. There you go. You get, you get one snap. snap a rooney so he has a fantastic game there, guys. He does a little bit of damage for himself and does 10,511 spotting assist. Okay, now let's watch how much of a disadvantage it is to be on the south spawn. Because you remember in the game we just watched, the initial spotting position that guy took was at about e, uh, E4. Now, if you're spawn on the south spawn and you want to go to that side, you have to cross the river, which takes you longer, and you can make it to this kind of building church area or wherever that is, but you get there later and there's no good concealment for you to spot from. You can't get to this island unless you jump across the river. So the natural thing to do if you, because you spawn on this side of the river, the natural thing to do is to move up on the 890 line. Don't flip yourself. But there's topography now, okay? So you have to move all the way to this, um, I'll show you, he's, he's going to the, the natural spot. He's moving straight and he's going to the uh, the magic bushes up here to try and spot some people that he spotted. He spotted the VZ. Okay, hopefully he did not get this spotted in return. He and he did, which is bad. That's That sucks. So he has to take a little bit of a dipsy doodle. He wants to get to one of these bushes, I think. And the problem is, even if you if you make it, what happens? So you're not going to spot the guys that are in the bushes at, on the uh, uh, on the A line, and you're countered by another. Like he got a little bit of spotting assist now, but let me just pause it here and show you. Okay, let's pause it right here. Even if you get to these positions like here or here, you you're not going to spot the guys that just they. The northern spawn that spawns here just crosses the river and drives along the bushes. There's too much cover. You're only going to spot guys that move up here, like the enemy T100LT, uh, and he's going to get there before you. Let me show you. Okay, now look at the mini-map and look how far you have to travel from the south spawn to that position there. Now that uh, player we just watched had to do a little dipsy doodle because he... He got spotted from uh, the set, the five line from the houses. But this GSOR, who's spawning from the uh, from the north, does this. This is just this counters everything that you can do from the south. He tries to avoid his other tanks there. He crosses the river right away, and he could have went across the bridge and got there a little bit faster. But he had to avoid his uh, his teammates, and he heads straight for this location here. Watch this from the north spawn. You completely counter 
uh, that move that that light tank was trying to make because you can get into a position if he can get there quickly he could have got there a little faster if he just crossed the bridge instead of going uh, through the water and he makes it to does he make it there and the patent spotted and there's everyone spotted right they're all spotted and no fun for you if you're on the spawning from the other side except if they start blind shooting you. all right so let's join our t100 lt again as he tries to get to this bush and is countered by the enemy t100 lt but he manages the 317 spotting assist just much and he he could have taken a little wider route to get here so he wouldn't have been spotted from the center his teammate also <coughs> made a, a blundering error just sitting exposed because this position here is exposed to the people that are in the center <coughs> so just and and you're exposed to the campers that are sitting in these bushes here so it's just much more difficult he's doing some he's some active spotting he's trying not to stay still making himself a more difficult target to hit and he's found He's found a Muppet in a WZ1115A who's moved up much too early in the game. And he's managed 1,500 spotting assists. Can he actually poke and spot him? You see how they're on their heels. The south spawn is on its heels already. And they've sent nobody on the K line here. You notice that? The enemies have been able to move down the 1-2 line just easily. Can he take a shot here? Take a shot? Oh my god, what kind of a... What kind of crew do you have in this uh, tank where you're aim circle is this big so as a light tank he says oh boy nobody's gone in that direction and this guy uh shout out to you for having the balls he's from the balls clan shout out to you guys to go and see uh, what's happening on the other side and he's spotted so there's some enemies there oh boy there it is okay the enemies have moved forward very ag aggressively but he's uh, a russian light tank so he should be able to take care of these guys uh, easily <laughs> He does not have a very good crew there, guys. His uh, his uh, reload time and his aim time are not very good. But he, he's he got balls, so he's going to do it. Up the ass for you. A little bit of a ramp. Uh, he's got teammates. His own artillery stunned him, but that's okay. The enemy bounced on him. and Oh, oh yes, his teammates are shooting. And boom, he successfully, through pure aggression, was able to... Um, uh, withstand that enemy push now if he had gone to this flank uh initially and just what would he do just wait in these bushes i guess um you can move up to here and move up the a line uh, not the a line the one line but it all depends how many uh enemies come down this flank right it, there's no right or wrong answer and i you know, make these videos and i hope no one thinks uh no. Oh, Klaus said you should you should never spot the one. I'm, I'm not I'm not saying that. Every situation is different, and there are some really good uh, spotting assist games from the south spawn. I might show you just a, a, a clip uh, from one where a light tank. Uh, I'll, I'll point to the mini map here. Uh, started crosses here and moves very aggressively up the one line. He gets to about here. Look look at the mini map. He gets to about here doesn't encounter anyone so he keeps going jumps across this river and gets into this island all right uh, you notice the island right in here then keeps going and goes to these this bush line right here uh b1 and c1 and keeps moving across here and spots all the enemies but that only works if the enemies are very passive on that flank that only works if they're very passive on that flank uh, if you encounter them early, early you've got to bail Okay, so there's different options, obviously, right? I'm not giving you the only way you should play. I'm, uh, I'm giving you ideas and showing you what are the high percentage uh, options. So it's just high percentage options. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. Don't let them reload. Good. Some good spotting there. He noticed he had teammates behind him. He went to that little knoll and spotted everyone. He's up close to 5,000 spotting. There's plenty of ways to skin a cat. There's... All sorts of different um, eventualities and the game progresses completely differently depending on what the enemies do. But I'm giving you kind of the high percentage plays. And the high percentage play is if you spawn from the uh, the north, play the 890 line. 
you have a good chance of getting some a really good spawning assist. If you spawn from the south, just be very careful. You're not going to win the game in the first 30 seconds. you got to kind of scope out where the enemies are. And now this guy has survived, and he's using his mobility. They're losing, but he's gone behind enemy lines, and what is he looking for? What is he looking for? Is he going to find it? He's using bushes properly, and is he going to find it? He's found... And I still haven't found what I'm looking for. But he did find it now. He was looking for the SPG that did not propel himself very far. Because for that SPG, P stands for parked. He has parked himself in a very uh, a bad position. And now he's going to pay for his stupidity. He spotted for himself. And he's doing the damage for himself. Because if you want the job done, you might as well do it yourself. We have to have a little bit of fun watching these replays, don't we? Beautiful thinking now. And uh, where where would he go? He can't spot any look at the minimap. He can't spot these guys here because they're in the buildings. There's no you know light tank. So what? So he's skirting the edge of the map and seeing if he can spot anyone else that's uh, uh, he is spotted. Oh! Oh, he's spotted by an SPG! He got out detected by an SPG who is in the bushes with his camo net. But you can hide, but you can't run. Or uh, you, you can run, but you... No, you weren't running. You, you can park, but you can't hide. <laughs> and just uh, using his head now, using his head, there's a last known position of an M5Y at G2. How does he go and detect that guy? That's the guy he has the high percentage of detecting. And if he does, who shoots him? That's what you got to think. Okay, he's detected him. Get in the bushes. Who shoots him? Ah, oh, might as well shoot him yourself. And miss. The super conqueror could shoot him. That's who. There you go. The super conqueror is shooting him. So this is beautiful. The uh, M5Y has made a big mistake. Big mistake. And he is right on the edge of his white circle. You notice that? The white circle is the maximum detection range. This guy, uh, oh, and he spotted the AMX again. Be careful, you know, he spotted the lion. If he shoots now, the lion will probably detect him. He, uh, the super conqueror has spotted this guy and he can, ooh, he's checking. The super conqueror is dead. Oh no. Ding dong, the super conqueror is dead. Oh no, he's gonna have to do it himself now. Can he? No, that guy's behind the house. He's got two lions and an object 261. Okay, he's got to go fight the M5Y. I know that's... You're getting close to detection range there. Close to... Okay, he made it. Where is that M5Y? There's... Oh, an FV. No, you can't. Is he, he's in behind buildings, right? You just can't fight those guys in the buildings unless they move into the little gap. Is there a little... There's a little gap! Yes! Unistojala! <laughs> Now where's the M5Y? Is he in those bushes right there? He's in those bushes. Yes, he's detected. He's. A you gotta shoot him. Don't just run. You gotta shoot. Turn, turn. What is he doing? How come the M5Y doesn't shoot? Because he's a Muppet and he uh, doesn't know how to play the game. So he didn't shoot. He's been aiming this whole time. He's thinking, why doesn't he stand still? I want to shoot him, but he won't stand still. And he forgot to fire his gun because doing this is very difficult. And he forgot. Daddy, I forgot what to do to make my gun shoot. Uh, you know, that happens sometimes, I understand. He's probably only played uh, uh, 20, 30, 40,000 games, so. Uh, and it took him that many times to learn how to tie his shoes when he was four. There he comes now. He's, he's, he's charging forward. Well, I'll get him, he's thinking. Maybe if I get closer. <laughs> <laughs> so we're watching an amazing game. Should we watch another one, guys? Are we having fun today? We might. Today might be a marathon. We're going for the marathon! Uh, both these guys, the two games we've watched, showed you uh, from the north spawn, you have options. You can go straight down from the cap and get some initial spots if you're worried about your W and 8. Uh, initial spots help your W and 8. But uh, the best spotting uh, assistance games I found are from the north spawn, spotting the 890 line, the other side of the river. From the south spawn, it's just been um, the best spotting games. Typically, what I found statistically is uh, 
near the end of the the middle and the end of the game okay not, not a lot of initial um, you know, go to a position and get 5,000 spotting assist in the first two minutes like you can from the north spawn if you move straight south to this bush and there's three SPGs and some of your TDs move up boom 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 you've got 4,000 spotting assist if you move to this position where we saw the GSOR uh, at D9 you move to that bush and, and the enemies are moving aggressively up the 890 line boom 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 your 5,000 spotting assist from the south spawn I haven't seen very many games where you know there's no boom 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 5,000 spotting assist it's much more difficult because there's a lot less options of, uh, of where to go to get the initial spots so the the good games that I've discovered are like the like this one where he's struggled a little bit at the beginning but he's made up for it and doing a lot near the end of the game which is exactly what he's done and he's got to find it we got to watch the end we got to find the AMX we got to find the AMX and then we'll we'll play one more quick clip of a monster game from the south spawn but there's a there's a reason I'm gonna explain it to you and this guy is hiding 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 oh okay he got some spotting assist <laughs> from for the uh, artillery shooting but now he's gonna try and get the last shot come on get me with your last shot so a very hard fought battle he ended up having to do quite a bit of damage for himself and he got 5,524 spotting assist which from the south spawn is one of the highest spotting assist games I was able to to find now guys completely different situation when it's an assault mode okay assault mode typically the defending team tends to camp around their base and this might actually work uh, even uh, occasionally when the enemies are Muppets when it's just a, a regular game as well let's watch this at double speed okay he's moving down the flank over here and he's gonna move aggressively uh, hoping that the enemies are Muppets. Are the enemies Muppets? Enemies, are you Muppets? Let's see. He's just going to go straight at them. And he's going to hope that they don't deploy aggressively. Are they deploying aggressively? He pokes this. He sees one of them. The AMX. Boom. Of course, he doesn't penetrate because he's a German tank. <laughs> the AMX is like, what? I'm spotted already? And this is a good uh, initial position, even for regular games. But you can imagine if there's a lot of enemies heading this way, you have to bail. You have to you have to run away if uh, there's a lot of enemies coming down the one two three line, right? But this is an assault mode, and he's hoping he's he's hoping that not a lot come. All right, what is he gonna do? Does he? Ca oh, an E50 shows up, and I have no idea what these enemies are doing. They're trying to get into this little A1 spot there and try and defend, and they think well. You know, we can defend from there. But watch this guy. This guy has balls of steel. Watch this move. Jump into the water. Almost drown himself. And approach from this, the low ground. And you can do this even in a regular uh, mode. If the enemies are not, don't aggressively move up this 1-2-3 line. You can do this from... Uh, just in a, It doesn't have to be assault mode. Uh, okay, so this is a good play from the south spawn. I said the south spawn. It's harder for the south spawn. But, uh, you know, this is not a bad play. Here comes a clown. Here comes the clowns, the EBR, who's clowning around and too scared because he got spotted. Oh, daddy, I got spotted. <laughs> and he got, he takes 357 damage. The E50 is going, who's spotting me? Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. No, don't shoot him. Watch this. Just balls, balls of steel, guys. Balls of steel. Shoot him. Boom. Fire. Shoot! What's wrong with you? Shoot! Yes, your teammates are shooting. Track them! Track them! Track them! D50 doesn't know that he's lit. He's very close, but this bush line is allowing him to do this. Come on. Doesn't is there no artillery on his team that can rain death from above? Shoot him! Starting to depress me that he's not shooting. Yes, shoot! Shoot! What's wrong with you? Oh, you could have killed him. The E50 is stunned. Dazed and confused. The Rinoceronte moves up. Where's the AMX-50B? The AMX-50B ran like the pussy that he is after he got uh, detected. 
And this guy's gonna keep moving up the bush. Move up the bush! Move up the bush! And he found. Oh, look! Look who we found! Daddy! We found a, an AMX 50B! <laughs> and this is how you uh, approach it from the south spawn sometimes. If the enemies are Muppets, or if you're playing um, Assault Mode. Let's just watch. Snap! Do -do -do -do. Watch this. Watch this. This is how you approach it, guys. This is how you do it without getting detected. You wallow in the water and you use uh, Wargaming's mechanic of the non-drowning mechanic. The, the tank crew is in the tank now going like this. They're holding their breath. They come... <gasps> and they made it. See, that's, that's, how you, that's how you drive a tank in water. It's very realistic. I hope you're enjoying the um, the content, guys. Uh, leave some comments, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, uh, help the channel grow, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.